That's my favorite thing ever. So satisfying. Holy shit, see, the solar eclipse is going down right now. Watching the NASA live stream. <laughs> Raise your hand if you forgot to buy glasses. Now the entire country is sold out. All right, so I was gonna do a shadow and schmooze today and I had a bunch of deep topics that I wanted to talk to you guys about and then I woke up and I just wasn't wasn't in the mindset. I almost filmed it last night because I was like totally in the zone and my mind was going 500 miles per hour. But today instead, I'm just gonna be doing a bunch of first impressions. This is almost like a full face. There's a few products that aren't, but pretty much full face first impressions. So if you like this video while you're watching, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see how I got this look and what I think of a bunch of new stuff, you're in the right place, just keep watching. Okay, so I've already primed my face using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. This is their new primer plus moisturizer two-in-one situation. It has hyaluronic acid in it. I've used this one time before, and I can't really tell what I think of it yet. It, it just feels kind of like very average. It's like a thin gel kind of moisturizer. It doesn't feel super tacky or anything. So for my face, I want to try out this Kula SPF 30 BB Cream. I love the color of this box. It says it has... And never mind, not gonna read that. A lot of shit, rose stem cells, help boost your naturally luminescent glow and support fresh, healthy looking skin. It says it has sheer tinted coverage, so I'm gonna mix in some of the Cover FX custom cover drops in with this just to add some coverage. I have the shade N10. Oh wait, first I wanted to use a second primer. So I wanna try out the model's own face base. This is like a silicone primer, it looks like. Face primer, smooths, cracks, and primes. It says on here that it's mattifying as well. Whoa. Okay, you gotta shake that for sure. It just did that thing that mustard does where it's like a stream of yellow liquid when you first squirt it out. Wow, that was a really appealing comparison. And it's flying all over. I'm not even squeezing it. That can't be the formula, no. It looks like there's more like solid gel at the bottom, but I just can't get it to mix. What the heck? It looks like it almost separated in there. All right, I've been trying to mix this thing for like two minutes and I can't get it to come out right, so. I'm gonna be returning this thing. So instead, let's try this Urban Decay Primer. This is the Urban Defense Complexion Primer. This also has SPF 30 in it. This has a really, I was gonna say thin consistency, but also really interesting scent. Whoa, this feels like oil. Uh, it feels like I'm putting straight up oil on my face. This mix, geez Louise. I don't really like the formula of this. I feel like it might make me oilier throughout the day, but if you have dry skin, it might work for you. It does feel like it's starting to kind of set in a little bit. It just feels super greasy. Let's try out this Kula situation. That looks so freaking dark. What the heck? There's no way this is the light medium. This is the light medium shade. All right, I'm gonna shake this because that seems to be the theme of the day. Well, the cover effects drops do definitely help to lighten. It does have a really nice glass bottle. Cruelty-free, vegan. Let's get some coverage going with the cover effects drops. I need to get a new bottle of this. So I wanna try out this beauty blender. Look at this thing, so pretty. It looks like a freaking Easter egg. I've already dampened it. I think this was their like anniversary collection, summer collection. It's exclusive to Sephora, whatever it is. Let's try the sponge on one side of my face. So that BB cream must be very mattifying because typically the cover effects drops are pretty luminous and this side of my face right now is like pretty matte. I think I'm just gonna use this on the rest of my face because I like how it's going on with the sponge. Even though the BB cream is too dark, it has a nice beige tone to it. For some reason I thought it was gonna smell like coconut. Definitely doesn't. I'm getting pretty good coverage. I'm gonna layer on a little bit just over my acne. If we can build it up, it looks really nice. I definitely could still go over some of my acne spots with spot concealer down on my neck, which I will do. I would definitely wear those two mixed again. My forehead looks really nice and smooth. Pleasantly surprised by that combo. I've been trying to get better about getting the foundation off my hair. So for concealer, this is one that I've tried once or twice before and I really did not like. So this is kind of like the final chance for this guy. This is a soft matte complete concealer in the shade vanilla. This is a fairly new concealer. A lot of people love this. I just can't get it to work for me, but I'm going to try it again today and see if we can get it. To do better. I think I'm gonna use this as like a spot concealer. Can't remember if I tried this for spot concealing. The shade vanilla is matching my face makeup perfectly right now. Chantilly is a little bit too light for underneath my eyes which is why I got vanilla and I can always lighten up my under eye concealer with my Physicians Formula powder if I need to. So it's working nicely as spot concealer and that shade is pretty perfect but let's try this for underneath the eyes one more time. It does feel very lightweight not super thick or anything like you would think kind of a pot concealer would be. I just don't get that great of coverage at all. And it 
is already starting to crease. Yeah, not quite enough coverage for what I like underneath my eyes, but I might keep this as a spot concealer because like I said, that matches really well. Underneath the eyes, if you like a thin but kind of creamy moisturizing consistency, I would say medium coverage, you might like that. I'm just gonna set underneath my eyes. Oh, that just creased so bad there's like one two three by the way i'm trying out a new smashbox brush with this, this is the full coverage foundation brush mm. do not like that concealer underneath my eyes have this loose powder by pixie to try out this is their quick fix translucent setting powder this has like a puff built into it kind of looks like a macaroon you guys know my thoughts on translucent powders by this point but i'm gonna give it a go some of them work out I always want to find one that works, they just never work for my skin. It always just takes away the coverage and makes my skin look really bad. Wow, this has a mirror on the top. I'm also kind of scared to use this because I really like how my skin looks right now. Like the rest of my face makeup looks good, especially my forehead. So maybe I'll just set my cheek area or something with this. This has like a green tint to it. What the heck? And where's the puff? It doesn't look like you get a lot of powder in here at all. This is kind of messy. So the, the, there's powder in the bottom of this thing. I think it goes through the puff. Okay, we take off the sealant. We're gonna screw this puff back on. Sets makeup, no color, blurs imperfections. Tap puff onto skin to release powder. Nothing's coming out right now. What the heck, man? It doesn't look like anything's coming out. I mean, there's the hole. Should be going through. When you like really shake it, there's a little bit coming out, but not nearly enough that you would need to set yeah like nothing's coming out Ooh, do not like what that just did so i'm gonna actually unscrew the puff because the puff is a no-go i'm gonna use the bottom of my morphe sponge for this this is a dry sponge Ooh, it actually fits in there perfectly what just happened down there Did the concealer just oxidize or something i don't know if you guys can see that but there's like dark circles around where i spot concealed all right back in with this blue powder let's put this on my chin It has a blue tint to it. This is bizarre. It's not looking particularly smooth. No, that definitely looks worse. It's like emphasizing my texture a bit, so I'm definitely not gonna use that on the rest of my face, and it has this bizarre blue tint to it almost. I'm gonna take the damp sponge and see if I can kind of smooth it out. I don't have any new brow products to test out, so I'm just gonna pop them on really quick. To contour, we're gonna try out this step-by-step -step contour kit by Smashbox. It says there's a contour, bronze, and highlight. Super small packaging. The box makes this look like it's gonna be a huge palette. Ooh, that light shade right there looks like it might be nice. Ooh, why do my lips look like they're about to peel off right now? Oh, hell yeah. Why do I feel like it looks warmer on this side? I wonder if I had some left over on the brush or something. So it looks way warmer on this side. It looks nice and cool toned when I swatch it. Ooh. I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna have to use this again and see because I really like how it looks on this side, but for whatever reason, when I put it on this side of my face, even with a different brush, it's like 50 times warmer. Memory card just got full, but I just put on blush and highlight off camera since these aren't first impressions. <laughs> use Physicians Formula Butter Blush and Natural Glow and then my Holy Grail if you haven't bought this yet, you need to go get it. Physicians Formula Natural Nude Highlight. It is one of the most beautiful highlighters on planet Earth. So for eyes, I have two different eyeshadow things I want to try out. The first is the Smashbox Cover Shop Palette, and then the other is the Physicians Formula Anniversary Palette. So I think that's what these are called, eyeshadow quads. Ooh, this looks pretty. Look at those colors. Now I'm kind of tempted to just use this. My eyes, I think, are good to go. I brought that concealer on top of them and then set it. Still have my travel makeup bag here that is not unpacked yet, so my brushes are like all over the place. There's actually not like a transition shade in there. So I'm gonna go back in with the shade that we used for contour and just put that in the crease. See, it's looking cool tone here. Oh, it's my favorite thing ever. So satisfying. Kinda wanna go into this fuchsia color. Yeah, let's do it. I don't really know where I'm putting this right now. Am I doing a halo eye? What's going on? Yeah, let's do it. Then I'm gonna go with this brick shade right here. Put that a little bit higher than the fuchsia, I think. Yeah, let's blend that out. I think I wanna pop that orangey kind of gold shade on the lid. I'm just gonna take my finger first. Oh, that's like very orange. Okay. Ooh, whoa. It's very orange. I mean, it's pretty. I just don't know if I was going for that orange today. I'm probably gonna pop a different shade on top of it. Oh, my back feels like it needs to crack. This top shade right here looks like it might be 
a little bit more what I was going for. Ooh, those are pretty layered. I don't want that fuchsia to get lost with all the blending, so I'm just going back in and adding a little bit more. I'm gonna try and wet the gold shade and see if I can get it to pop a little bit more. There we go, much better. I think I do wanna add some eyeliner to the waterline, so I'm just gonna put on this black one, Spike Catrice. I've been kind of feeling the waterline eyeliner lately, so I'm gonna take that deep brown shade in here, which we haven't used yet. Kind of just stamping that on, pressing it really close to my lash line. I typically don't like Smashbox shadows. I find them to be a little bit too stiff, but these ones are working really well. I'm just blending that out with whatever's left over on this brush. For the inner corner highlight on my eyes, I'm gonna use my same Positions formula that I used on the face and just take this light kind of champagne gold color. Okay, this thing is probably what I'm most excited to try out. This is the Lottie London Wing Woman Felt Tip Eyeliner. Casey Holmes raved about this, so I am really excited to try this. If I can get it open. I need more coffee. What am I doing? Literally had three sips. If there could be an IV that would just put caffeine in my body as I film, that would be great. All right, hallelujah. Let's do this, Lottie. We're gonna wing it out. Pray to the wing gods. So it's very black, very matte. The thing that I personally don't like is, I don't know if you guys have seen me kind of struggling to get a straight line across here. It's one of those eyeliners that kind of skids on the top if you try and just drag it. So you have to use the actual point to go in and get a really smooth line. One of the things I love about the Physicians Formula Eye Booster is that I can literally just drag it across and it makes the easiest, smoothest line. This one looks good now that I was able to smooth out that line, but I wouldn't say this is like a beginner kind of eyeliner. It's not super easy. Woo, that one just got wild. For me, it's one of those eyeliners that because of the jagged lines, it kind of just keeps getting bigger because you have to keep smoothing over it. The wings are a little intense today. I wasn't planning on wearing false lashes, but I think now I'm going to because these are just a little much for no falsies. But I'm still gonna try out this mascara. This is the Urban Decay Troublemaker. This is brand new. It says on the box, super fat, super long, sex proof mascara. I can see the clickbait coming now. I don't even want to know what first impressions people are going to do on this one. First of all, I love the packaging on this. Super pretty unique mascara packaging. Looks like a comb kind of applicator. So I'm just going to do a coat before going in with false lashes to see how this is. Not bad. Very uh, lengthening and separating. It's not giving me any volume really. Not my new favorite, but I also don't not like it. Yeah. Don't not like it. Do double negatives confuse anyone else? Because those are like a total mind fuck for me. I don't know what it is about them. All right, so I put on lashes and lower lash line mascara. I used the Ardell Faux Mink lashes for the first time. I really like these. Very lightweight, but still like fluttery. Feeling them. I feel like with this warm eyeshadow look, I need to warm up my face a little bit more. So I think I'm actually gonna go back in with that contour palette, but use that shade a little bit. Let's try out this brush with it, because I just want like a light dusting. That's pretty. So this thing is really interesting. This is by Pretty Vulgar Cosmetics and it's their Silent Treatment Matte Lip Moisturizer, which clearly I need today. So I think you're supposed to put this on under like a matte liquid lipstick or maybe under any kind of lipstick. It does feel moisturizing, but it's looking totally matte. It feels really nice on the lips. It doesn't have the best smell. Kind of just smells like chemicals. So I kind of have two different lip products I want to try out. The first is the model's own matte liquid lipstick. I haven't tried these yet. And then the Sephora lip powder. I hauled this in my Sephora and clothing haul. I want kind of like a bright but fuchsia kind of color. Ooh, that is literally exactly what this is. So this is in the color Candy Cane. Oh, hell yeah, this is like the exact color I was going for. It's actually looking a little bit more red on camera. In real life, it looks like a bright fuchsia. Oh my god, it smells amazing. It's like super minty, which I love in lip products. A little bit hard to get a clean line with this applicator, kind of like frayed. It has more of like a moussey formula to it. So I love the shade of this. Application is a little bit difficult, I feel, but I love the smell of it and it feels kind of like tingling or cooling on your lips. So I think that's everything. I can't do a full on wear test in this video to see how the face combination and everything holds up because I'm actually going to get my lash extensions put back on right now, which I am so excited for. No more lash glue. So that's everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. It helps me out. 15 Days of Foundation starts next week, Friday, September 1st, 6 p.m. Pacific time. I hope you guys are excited. I'm actually on day 
10. Yeah, I've filmed nine days so far. Haven't edited a single one yet. I'm trying to get those ahead and then also film so you guys have videos while I'm pre-filming. Everything I used on my face today and tried out will be down below in the description box. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye. Thank you.